I have seen the light, my friends, and the light is good. Today we're gonna to talk about sunlight, grow lights, the difference between the two, and why they're so important to the growing process. Let's get to it. Hey guys, welcome to Fleetwood Patch. My name is Jeremy. If this is your first time uh, stopping by our channel, thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate it. Please hit that like and subscribe button. We always appreciate that. Um, you can reach us at fleetwoodpatch at gmail.com as well as on Instagram and Facebook. Now let's be honest, when it comes to growing anything, there are three major components you absolutely have to have. Water, rich soil, and light. Light is probably one of the most important things, especially once your seedlings start to sprout up, start to grow. If you want to keep them growing, that's where you definitely need to make sure that they're getting plenty of light, whether it be natural sunlight, whether it be uh, artificial light. And I'm going to show you a couple examples of what we have for both and uh, what the results are from that. Now when it comes down to whether or not you should use a grow light or if you should use a window, um, pretty simple really. I would go with the window every time. Uh, it's natural sunlight, you know. It's what plants have been thriving off of for millions and millions and millions of years. So that obviously would be the best choice. Not everybody uh, has a window that faces south or east. Incidentally, that is the best spot to put your plant is uh, in a east or south facing window. And in here is our front window. This is facing east, kind of southeast. This is the window that gets the most sun definitely during the day. So what we're doing is we got a couple pots in here stacked up, ready to go. This is actually for our tea, uh, what we're going to use for tea. So. There's mint in there, there's ashwanga, not really sure what that is, my wife knows more about that than I do, peppermint. This is our lime tree, it does great in here, it gets plenty, plenty of sun and uh, also some good residual heat. And down below here, that is our Thai basil plant. And right now, it's looking a little scraggly. Um, I think it's because it's root bound. I'm going to do a video here in the future, show you how you can cure that. But uh, this is awesome to use on a lot of different uh, stir fries and whatnot. And we actually got a little bit of uh, cilantro that's growing in there. So there's plenty you can do when you have natural light coming in. Go ahead and give that a try as well if you don't have those grow lights available. But if you don't have that option, obviously, uh, if you want to go for grow lights, I think it would be a good investment. Uh, if it's something that you really feel passionate about as far as growing, um, I think it's a good investment. I mean, everybody has their hobbies that they do. Um, this one is mine, and like any hobby, I think people invest in it. So grow lights, um, when it comes to getting good results out of them, you want to make sure you're getting lights that are specifically designed as grow lights. You don't want to use just a regular bulb uh, in your house. You're not going to get a lot of results out of that. Reason being, um, first off, the heat that it puts off could cook the plant. And second and off, it just doesn't produce enough light uh, to sustain that plant to, to uh, help it photosynthesize. So um, 
normally when starting off um, with seedlings, I would go with anywhere between a 10 watt to a 15 watt grow light. Uh, if you're going for massive growth after that, I would look at probably doing anywhere from 30 watt to even 50 watt if you want to go that high. Um, it all depends on how much you want to spend, uh, how much is in your budget. For us, um, we have um, a little grow light, two grow lights actually in our kitchen uh, for the herbs that we use. And then we also have a mini one that we use just for seed starting. It's about 10 watt. Um, that's really all you need, I think, to get the seeds really started, especially if you're doing things like uh, uh, microgreens or um, just even starting the seeds for the season. Um, so let me kind of show you what those do. So this is kind of our makeshift herb garden that we have in our kitchen. Now, as you can see on this platform here, you can actually fit three pretty decent sized pots in here. Um, if you're curious what that is, you got lemon balm, you got romaine lettuce, believe it or not, you can grow lettuce inside. There is sweet basil there. And as you can see, it's just a, it, it'll fit those three pots and it adjusts actually um, as they get taller but uh, it really doesn't take up that much room. In fact, we have two of them here. So you got your holy basil, Greek basil, and uh, chives here. And uh, you can see they're both on kind of different levels, the lights are, but very, very compact. I got this on uh, Amazon. Um, it's probably, I would say, not even two feet, okay? Two feet by about six inches. That's probably something you could fit in your kitchen somewhere or somewhere around the house, but uh, this is definitely a very good option. If you haven't already, I would definitely check it out and see what you can find. This grow light, it's kind of cool. We actually have it in the laundry room here and it's uh, clipped to the side of one of the shelves. And we just kind of have it uh, supplementing some light. Um, this is for our sage. Works really, really well actually. And then in the afternoon, that, sh that sun actually shines through here and uh, it'll hit that regularly. Um, I've noticed that these leaves have definitely gotten a lot more green. Um, they're a little curly, but uh, I think they're starting to straighten out. But something like this is also a very, very good option uh, for whatever you're growing. So over here is kind of our double whammy. Sorry, that's our worm compost bin. Another great thing to have, by the way. But uh, what this is, like I said, it's about a 10 watt and uh, it's adjustable. I, that's what I like about it, it's adjustable. So if it, if it does get to be too much, you can raise it just a little bit. You always want them reaching high for that light, but uh, just stick it right underneath there and you wanna get fairly close. Now those are um, alfalfa sprouts. Those are gonna be used not only for us, but for the chickens. But uh, that's what's really going to help those seeds really start to germinate. Now, as you can see, it's also facing our backyard. Um, we don't get as much light in the afternoon just because we're not really facing completely west. Um, and we don't really get direct sunlight in the afternoon in this time of year. Now, in the summertime, that'll be different. But right now, we're just not getting as much. So um, a mini setup like this, I think, is a great idea especially if you're starting off your seedlings. And that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for dropping by. Again, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Check out some of our other videos. Tell me what you think. Until next time, this is Jeremy Fleetwood Patch saying, you got this.